The film which you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of five youths, in particular, Sally Hardesty and her invalid brother, Franklin. It is all the more tragic in that they were young. But had they lived very, very long lives, they could not have expected, nor would they have wished to see as much of the mad and macabre as they were to see that day. For them, an idyllic summer afternoon drive became a nightmare. The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The next morning, the one survivor, Sally Hardesty Enright, was picked up on a roadside, blood caked and screaming murder. Sally said she had broken out of a window in hell. The girl babbled a mad tale, a cannibal family in an isolated farmhouse, chainsawed fingers and bones, her brother, her friends hacked up for barbecue, chairs made of human skeletons. Then she sank into catatonia. Texas lawmen mounted a month-long manhunt but could not locate the macabre farmhouse. They could find no killers and no victims, no facts, no crime. Officially, on the records, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre never happened. But during the last 13 years, over and over again, reports of bizarre, grisly chainsaw mass murders have persisted all across the state of Texas. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre has not stopped. It haunts Texas. It seems to have.